Looking for a password manager? NordPass safely stores all your passwords and helps you generate new ones. The autofill feature saves you time when logging in and synchronizes across all your devices. Visit nordpass.com forward slash legendvd to get the best offer or use code legendvd at checkout to get an additional month for free. Hello and welcome to another Explorer video. Today we're taking a look at a Junt fight rigging combo deck featuring the 3 mana hideaway enchantment, saying at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature you control, then if you control a creature with power 7 or greater, you may play the exiled card without paying its mana cost, and hideaway letting us take a look at the top 5 cards to exile one of them face down when fight rigging enters a battlefield. And we've got some exciting cards to play for free, and the most exciting one by far is going to be casting Valky, or rather Tybalt, since we can play the backside using Hideaway, and then get the 7 mana Planeswalker down, which can provide card advantage and exile stuff that's in play. And then we can also potentially hit Collected Company, since this is a Collected Company deck, all our creatures below 4 mana, so we can hit them all with Company. And then we also have cards like a Great Henge to provide card advantage, which we can also find with Hideaway. And of course, with all these 6 and 7 powered creatures, we can get a Great Henge down as early as turn 3 if we start with a 1 mana mana creature. And then Turn Timber Symbiosis is a land that's also a 7 mana sorcery, so we can potentially find it off fight rigging and not be too disappointed as that will find a creature and put additional counters on it as well. So that's our basic game plan, and one mana, of course, full sets of Lenor Elves, so we can play a turn 2 Rotting Regisaur as a 7-6 with a drawback of having to discard a card at the beginning of our upkeep. We also have Shakedown Heavy as another great enabler for fight rigging, a 6-4 with Menace, and when the Heavy attacks, defending player may have you draw a card, and if they do, we untap Shakedown Heavy and remove it from combat. So it's either a card draw engine or a nice evasive attacker, but of course has the big drawback of the opponent making the decisions for you, which is never great, but the heavy is still good enough here as an enabler for fight rigging and cards like Great Henge. And then we already mentioned Valky, can sometimes play it on turn 2, but more often than not we're kind of hoping to play Tybalt at 7 mana, but sometimes we don't have much going on in the early game, and this can still disrupt the opponent's game plan. We also have Bonecrusher Giant, which we can use to deal 2 damage to any target with Stomp, and then a relatively large creature that can eventually get to 7 power to enable fight rigging, and can also discount our Great Henge, and we're not too disappointed to hit it with a Collected Company either. Gilded Goose, another 1 mana accelerant that can also maybe gain some life. And then at 3 mana, we also have a few copies of Rampaging Ferocidon. This is one of the flex slots in the deck, and the main reason we're playing this is because the Angel life gain decks are quite popular in Historic Best of One, and this is a great way to shut down all their life gain synergies. Could, for instance, replace it with a Graveyard Trespasser as a bit of main deck Graveyard Hate, if you expect Graveyard decks like Grease Fang to be more popular. Could also play Scavenging Ooze to accomplish the same, so there are quite a few options available there. But yeah, as we've said, trying to keep all creatures at 3 or less mana, so we can hit them off Collected Company, so no inclusions like Galta. Another fun one that you could play in this type of deck is Obnixilus, as you can potentially play it and then have it enter the battlefield with a ton of loyalty if you sacrifice Shakedown Heavy or Rotting Regisaur, so those are considerations. And then the mana base includes our Symbiosis, of course, and then some Shocklands with Blood Crypt, Overgrown Tomb, Stomping Ground, and Pathways with the Red-Green one and the Black-Red Pathways pathway, and then some fast lands with Blooming Marsh. No basic lands, which could get punished by opposing Field of Ruins or Assassin's Trophies, but those are pretty rare, and even against Field of Ruin, most control decks shouldn't really have time to activate them in the matchup. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw, facing a Yurion probably control deck. Our hands could use an enabler, but fine rigging into hopefully collected company we'll find our high powered creature. Can stomp on turn two. And then our company being instant speed certainly helps. So end of turn we can stomp. And I'm okay if this gets countered. It does not. And let's get fight rigging down. And find another fight rigging, I think. And then we could main phase collected company if we want to enable fight rigging, although sweepers are always a concern. But we could also hit Tybalt. 
So probably give this a shot. And then um, hope for the best. It's going to be an omen of the sea maybe digging for an answer. And hit double shakedown heavy. Might be better than uh, Ferocidon. Okay. And that one can hit Tybalt. So we diversify our threats a little bit. And there's a Shatter the Sky, at least draws. And then I'm not opposed to another main phase company to try and enable fight rigging, since Bone Crusher only goes up to 6 power here. And there we go. And we can diversify the counters if we'd like. Put some on the goose. And cast our Tybalt. Which can start plussing. Now I'm a little bit scared of that Field of Ruin since we don't have any basic lands in our deck. But hopefully that's not going to be a factor. Opponent has a lot of threats they need to deal with. The ferry is a start, can minus on Tybalt. Although we can almost just replay it. And there's another one waiting in exile. So land can go. And we can finish off Teferi. Play another uh, Tybalt here. Could also stomp Teferi, start going face which I'm also not opposed to. And then uh, take it from there. That didn't go and this turn probably cast another Bone Crusher. But I'll put the counters on the goose. And then next turn we can still easily cast our uh, Valky from Exile. And probably keep Elves in hand to discard to Regisaur. And our opponent concedes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with an acceptable hand. A little slow to get going. No place turn one or two. But we do have heavy plus fight rigging. So hopefully not up against a very aggressive deck. Turn 1 Mountain is somewhat scary. Uh, we'll play the Symbiosis Tapped as we're definitely not going to cast it this game. A Regisaur joins the ranks. And still no play, so that's promising. But maybe this is more of a combo deck. And not quite a mono red aggro. At least our Regisaur and Heavy are quite likely to survive a burn spell. But there we go, there's the black mana. That makes more sense. So now I prefer playing Fight Rigging first. So we don't expose our creature to removal. So we get to set up our combo next turn. Now we could go for Company. Or we could go for the sure thing with Heavy or Regisaur. And then hope there's no instant speed removal. If our opponent does pass with a bunch of mana up, maybe going for company is better in case we hit two creatures that both enable fight rigging. And then a Tybalt will be quite nice. Our opponent untaps, and our hand is Thoughtseize proof at least. Opponent passes, so yeah, they're probably hanging on to removal. So we can either company, or we can set up another fight rigging and pass, although then we're taking another three. Going for company might not be bad. Could also company end of turn, and then untap, play another creature, and between the two we're pretty likely to hit. Yeah, let's try that instead. Since I'm not super confident that we'll hit two enablers of one company, and then even if company hits... 
a large creature and like a random mana creature as well. It will still maybe help us double spell next turn. Opponent's got a Bone Crusher to stomp us down to 11. That's acceptable. And the Thought Seize can have a look. Can let that resolve. Got double company, and they'll probably take one of them. Okay. Harvester attacks. All company now kind of force issue here in case we find something to ambush. And we sort of did. Opponent could have a fatal push that they can enable with a blood token or an infernal grasp. Okay, so do I want to trade? I think that's fine. And then even if they have a voltage surge here with a blood token, it's not enough to kill Regisar. So that will be our plan. Cast Tibalt, which can plus, hopefully find a land. Might have wanted to keep my red mana untapped. In case we want to keep up Stomp. Opponent could Voltage Surge here, dealing 4 to Tibalt, but we would still be able to plus. And there's a land. Okay, so we still have Stomp available. Still at 11, so a relatively healthy life total. And our opponent concedes. Yeah, Tibalt for free is pretty hard to beat. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Our hand features turn 1 elves into turn 2 heavy, but we don't really have anything else going on. Pretty far from casting Tibalt. So we'll take a mulligan. This hand's missing green for turn 1 goose. So we do have a turn 2 bone crusher, Regisaur, eventually company but far from any combo. So this may also be a mulligan. Okay, this is probably our best hand so far. Still not perfect, but we'll give it a shot. And then we've got elves into turn to fight rigging and hopefully pick up a Regisaur or Shakedown Heavy to enable it. Stitcher Supplier points towards a Graveyard deck and looks like Mardu Greasefang. Okay, let's play our elves. And then uh, hope it survives. Now I'm kind of wishing Ferocidon was Graveyard Trespasser instead. That's one of the flex slots in the deck. And depending on whether you expect to face more of the life gain angel decks or you expect to face more reanimator decks you want to play the uh, three drop accordingly probably fine to play frosodon first or we can high roll with fight rigging in case we top deck register or shakedown heavy which is maybe what we need in the matchup just get lucky and then here we found a register which is probably still our best pick In the graveyard, at least no Parhelion yet. And Deadly Dispute gets to draw make a treasure. Okay, so time for Frostodon. And I think I put counter on Ferocidon, since we want to get closer to casting our Great Henge. Do I want to attack for two? They could easily kill Ferocidon here with a Fatal Push. Do I want to block her back? Eh, it's probably still fine to hit for two, since we wouldn't be blocking Supplier, so we're just taking one more point of damage. And then next turn we could potentially play our henge already. Opponent discarding I can't stay away. Another supplier, can they find Parhelion? Not yet. Fable. 
So if they have one in hand, they can discard it, although the blood token could have done that as well, so unlikely they have one in hand. And yeah, we'll play Henge. I guess I can save myself to life here by putting the counter on Frostodon first. Which is probably worth it, and I'm not attacking into double supplier. Now we can't gain any life because of our own Frostodon. But we can cast a Symbiosis next turn. And hopefully find something more exciting. Put nonsense with the team. Take three. And then if they kill our Ferocidon for us, we can gain life with Henge again. Alright, there's a fatal push. And another fable. So our opponent just kind of on the fair mid-range plan here. But uh, yeah, as soon as they find a Parhelion, we're going to be in trouble. So time for Symbiosis. Finding a Regisaur. Up to 11 counters. So let's diversify a little bit and play another Regisaur. Okay, so we can still put an upkeep stop. So we can actually stomp before we have to discard to double Regisaur. And then now does Elves attack? Yeah, that's probably acceptable. Can expect at least one Regisaur to die. And then stomping the Reflection seems important. Opponent discarding Sorin, so still no siding of Greasefang or Parhelion. Problem with Regisaur is that it doesn't attack particularly well into Stitcher Supplier. So our deck's definitely not set up for this particular matchup. Let's stomp Reflection. That works. And a Collected Company is nice. So step one might be to attack with a team. And then we can still Company. Although I might end up needing the Elves for mana. So let's just Company first. Finding Valky and Shakedown Heavy. Valky can maybe steal a Grease Fang. And there it is, and Parhelion in hand. A land would have been perfect here. If we attack into Stitcher Supplier, they could mill Grease Fang or another Parhelion or both, which is the worst case. And then, um, yeah, we could be facing a hasty Parhelion, thanks to Can't Stay Away, although they would also need a land. But I guess they can also use the Shamans for treasure, but then Parhelion at least isn't attacking. So, I think it's actually reasonable to attack. And then I can put a counter on Elves, so that can also attack. Put on double chumps. And we'll see what they mill. There's Parhelion. And there's Greasefang. Okay, so worst case scenario with a top deck of land now. To actually can't stay away Greasefang. Alright, at least they didn't draw the land. So they're gonna do its second main. We'll have to discard to Regisaur, sadly, so we don't get to play Tibalts. But a Bone Crusher is a draw. So step one, play Bone Crusher. See what we draw. A land lets us 
Adventure and cast Bone Crusher. Point is at nine, so if we clear a blocker, chump chump. They can just let us draw off Shakedown Heavy and then potentially survive. I think we don't show them the stomp yet then. And then if they don't chump everyone, they're gonna be in trouble. Although I guess let's see, we can also turn Valky into Grease Fang for a couple additional points of power. So then do we have guaranteed lethal if we clear a blocker? Yeah, then we do. So in that case, I guess we could stomp the reflection here. But we'll wait and see if our opponent has any responses. Draw a Gilded Goose. Could also come in handy. Flying blocker for Parhelion. Okay, so can activate Valky, turn it into Grease Fang, and that's 10 damage coming across. Awesome. Well, our opponent got a bit unlucky not to find their combo pieces sooner, but yeah, we managed to get there off a Mulligan to 5. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and what do we think of this one? No fight rigging, no mana creatures, only two lands, no black mana. That's a mulligan. Okay, another sketchy one without green mana for all these turn one elves. So don't think we can keep. Alright, we'll try this. Bottom Valky plus Bone Crusher, and then hope to get our Great Henge going eventually. Probably our best avenue to victory. Might have wanted to play tapped Overgrown Tomb since we have Pathway for Red. But that's okay. So, yeah. Keep up Stomp and then next turn maybe go for Shakedown Heavy. We'll need a second green source to actually cast a Great Henge then. Opponent on what looks like Mono Blue Spirits. So do I want to waste a Stomp? Not really. Although it's unlikely that the Shakedown Heavy sticks around. Shakedown Heavy does land. Let's see if they've got a Curious Obsession. Just an attack for one. Okay, found our second green source. And we do have double henge, so if one gets countered, it's not the end of the world. But I should probably start by attacking and see what our opponent does, if anything. We get to draw. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll get the henge countered. Or we can keep up a stomp, opponent makes a play on of turn, and we can stomp accordingly. I think I'm okay with them countering a henge. And then hopefully they tap out so we can play our second henge, plus maybe even a fight rigging. Opponent passes. Fight rigging the draw. Okay, so we don't have the mana to double spell which is really where we want to be in this type of matchup. So maybe I should attack first with Heavy, and then if we do draw land, I can still maybe Henge plus Stomp. And playing a Fight Rigging into potential Bounce Spell also feels pretty bad here. Right, found a Goose. So I can play the Goose, which blocks Spectral Sailor, and then still have Stomp available. Opponent has another Sailor. Could also see the argument for trying to resolve one of our three drops now. As the opponent could have just activated Sailor to draw end of turn. But I'm hoping this Stomp will bait out some sort of response. Shacklegeist. Okay. So now we can try and stomp. 
and a slip out the back for protection. So they do have two mana left, which could be enough for one of their many counter spells. If I go for Henge, I only have two mana to pay for a potential counter spell. So at that point, we try fight rigging, or do we set up an instant speed company? I feel like we want to take advantage of the opponent being mostly tapped out. So we'll try fight rigging. Right, there's another snare. And then if Heavy draws a land, we could still play a hench here, but our opponent takes six. Okay, Faisal Saven. A threat on the ground can also potentially help block Heavy. And then, yeah, for now take four. Opponent is down to one card in hand at least, but they can start drawing with Spectral Sailor. There's a land. So we've got six mana total. I think we start with a Great Henge. See if that resolves and then go for Fight Rigging afterwards. And we can maybe pay for a conditional counterspell. Now we could also Company, which maybe plays better in the face of a Bounce spell on the Shakedown Heavy, which they could also draw with the Spectral Sailor at this point. I guess we can start by attacking with the Shakedown Heavy. Our life total is dwindling. So the life gain of Henge is pretty key. Uh -huh, there it is, Sorting City to bounce Shakedown Heavy. So glad we didn't go for fight rigging. And then now we can company and have it resolve. Which is probably better than uh, anything else. Just found a Regisaur. So not the best hit. Although we can play a Gilded Goose with one power now, thanks to Henge. And for Osidon, I don't know if I'll end up playing, but we'll see. Regisaur blocks Haven, so just need to worry about the Flyers. And they're gonna use Shackle Guy's ability here. Take three. Discarding, I think, for Osidon, since I want a life gain of Henge and double Gilded Goose. And then can play a Shakedown Heavy, see what we pick up. Another Shakedown Heavy. Let's find Rigging first. And find Collected Company. And I could still play a Shakedown Heavy. Probably want to put counter on another goose. Also not opposed to just passing. Have a lot of options. How do we die? It's unlikely we die really. So I think it's fine to play heavy. Or I can just pass with Gilded Goose up. As we'll get another collected company here. Put on taps down Regisaur. And counter on a goose. And we'll make it a 2 4 so it can block Shacklegeist. Play our free company. Hitting Regisaur and Bonecrusher. Draw a couple more cards. More fight riggings, always welcome. And our opponent packs it in, awesome. So yeah, we had to kind of fight through a few counter spells, but eventually our opponent ran out, and fight rigging and great hench able to carry us to victory. Okay, we're on the draw. This hand has lands and spells, but they're not particularly synergistic. Turn to Valky to have a look, into Ferocidon, but then we're far from great hench. So I think we need to look for something a little bit more busted. Okay, this potentially works. And then I think we get rid of Valky and then turn one Goose. Turn to Regisaur potentially. 
And then if we find another green source, I can play Henge on the following turn. So ideally, we find another one. Opponent also with the turn one elves. Well, I can play our own turn one elves now, and that solves all our problems. I can set up turn two Regisaur into Great Henge. But our opponent's on a similar game plan, so they might get to it first. I think we still stick to the Regisaur plan, so we can play a two mana Henge as opposed to a three mana one with heavy. Shake down heavy attacks, I'll happily take six, so no fight rigging. Cycles Trium. And a tapped Stomping Grounds. Okay, off to the races here. So I can play a two mana Henge, play Shakedown Heavy. Question is, do we keep Goose or Stomping Ground? Goose can draw off Great Henge, although hitting my Land Drop might be valuable as well. Although Henge makes mana, I guess we wouldn't have red mana necessarily. Let's get rid of the Goose. Fight rigging, also a welcome sight. So now we can henge into fight rigging, which is probably more exciting here. Finding another fight rigging. And then counters on Regisaur to hit for eight. Play fight rigging which finds either Symbiosis or Shakedown Heavy. Let's go with uh, Symbiosis. Don't expect my opponent to deal with my Henge. And attack. And then I think I keep land in hand so we can discard Stomping Grounds and play Heavy in case they answer Regisaur to enable the other fight riggings. Opponent could have their own Henge, maybe they're playing other Curve Toppers here. And I'm happy to take the damage to deny the cards early on. And then once we're in danger, we can uh, take a different approach. Obnixilis is a nice one. Certainly worth considering alongside Regisaur and Shakedown Heavy. And uh, we'll take some damage. So next turn, this could ultimate. So that's kind of scary. But we get to play our heavy. And then Symbiosis finds something else. Another fight rigging. So can play Blood Crypts down to eight to play fight rigging. Then this can put us to seven, and then Obnixilus can finish me off. So that's not ideal. Would prefer not to die. So we might have to keep cards in hand. Yeah, the 7 loyalty of Nixilus is kind of throwing a wrench in our plans. Wasn't playing around it. Yeah, I mean, what can we hope to find with fight rigging that saves us? Another great henge to gain to? Yeah, I guess we'll uh, give it a try. Find Collected Company. Triple fight rigging. I probably don't put a counter on Elves in hopes that they kill it with the Devil if they don't see the lethal line. And we can pump Heavy and Regisaur some more. Player Company. Finding more Regisaurs and Shakedown Heavies. Gilded Goose. Gonna be a bit late to gain the life. But I guess we can grab it here. Draw more with the Great Henge. And a Symbiosis, which doesn't get to play Tybalt, sadly. Can play Valky, have a look. But I think we're still dead here. Opponent with Omniscience, so they're also definitely going for Fight Rigging. Snipe Gergroth. Well, I guess if we don't attack what happens, then they can deal 7, and then we can just discard to stay alive, so I guess we just don't attack here. 
and then maybe we can survive. And then Gilded Goose can gain more life, we can turn Valky into Gergroth. And we'll discard Symbiosis. Hmm, I guess the Devil can attack, of course, and either hits us or deals one damage. And Gilded Goose has a counter, so it doesn't get to block the Devil for free. Alright, so I guess they got us beat here. So the plus one counter on Gilded Goose actually a drawback. Alright, GG's. Well, both decks got to combo off here, just needed a little bit more life. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, facing Yurion, and our hand is promising. Double fight rigging plus heavy. Sequencing is going to be important, so we ensure that we get immediate value of fight rigging in case of removal. And uh, yeah, not sure yet if that means playing heavy or rigging first. Opponent Esper Colors. For now, I'm okay playing this tapped, although there's a small chance we end up casting the Symbiosis. So we'll play tapped Stomping Ground. Could see an Omen of the Sea end of turn. Yep. So if I play Fight Rigging, opponent's gonna keep up interaction for Shakedown Heavy, even if it resolves. But if we play Heavy first, it could be removed by any sort of Sorcery Speed removal. So I think Fight Rigging is still the preferred play. Especially with three copies in hand, I don't mind if one gets countered now. And Dovin's Veto does exactly that. So we'll try again next turn. Collected Company now gives us a different avenue. So I'm just going to pass with a plan of casting Company. Opponent might have their own card draw here, another Omen. Can let that resolve. Now, playing Company here, not quite as impactful as if we already had a fight rigging in play. Because let's say our opponent counters Company, then we get to do whatever we want next turn. But we don't have enough mana to necessarily set up our combo. Another Omen, opponent is tapped out, but going for Company in the face of various 4 mana... Sweepers is probably not where we want to be. So our opponent got to dig pretty deep for all the interaction they want. Leads with the Thoughtseize. Yeah, that's probably taking company if we don't cast it. If we cast it, they can cast a board wipe. So we're not in a great spot, but I guess we'll make them do it. And we hit... Registered to enable fight rigging, plus Bone Crusher as the next big thing. Although Lanor Elves honestly would have been reasonable too, as a way to maybe still double spell. Thought Seize takes Great Henge. And do we see a board wipe? If we don't, I might end up regretting not getting the Lanor Elves to cast both fight riggings. Although we also have to watch out for removal on Regisaur. So let's get rid of Symbiosis then, since we won't be double spelling here. And then I was going to fight Rigging either way. Can put the counter on Giant, since Regisaur already has 7 power. And hit Tybalt. Okay. Move to combats. Counter on giants. And they need to respond now. And a vanishing verse exiles a Regisaur. Okay. Well, we still have a fight rigging in play and a five power giant rumbling in. 
Small consideration for not attacking in case of a Wandering Emperor. And then, okay, playing this tapped. And then with a land we can maybe play both next turn. There's a Wandering Emperor. Can exile Giant. But yeah, the Shakedown Heavy still enables Fight Raking next turn. And we even found a land to play both. And Fight Raking finds Symbiosis, perhaps, or Regisaur. Let's go with uh, Regisaur. And then do we want to cast Regisaur, or do we keep some leftovers post-sweeper, potentially? I think it's still fine to cast. Play Tybalt. And that's going to be the Moneymaker here. So now if we get to untap with Absorb up, it's going to be really difficult for the opponent to recover. But they might have an answer for Tybalt here, in which case they still potentially stand a chance. And our opponent explodes. Yeah, too much value for the control deck to overcome. Awesome. So yeah, we got to see our Junt fight rigging deck in a pretty wide variety of matchups. Overall, if you want to have a better matchup against the Grease Fang decks, replace Ferocidon with the Graveyard Trespasser, but for now Ferocidon certainly helps in the live game matchups. So that'll do it for today's gameplay, want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day! I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.